For the first time in decades, China's population in decline. Long-term low fertility rates as well as high cost of living are behind the negative growth, according to one expert. By now, uh, more than 60 countries they already have the negative population growth in the world. So we all face the challenges similar. First is the population aging. The second is the shrinking size of the labor force. And the third may be the rising cost of medical care, long-term care in the future. To encourage couples to have kids, some regions like Shenzhen have started offering incentives such as cash allowances. Professor Du said tax cuts affordable housing and more friendly work environments could also help, as well as support for the huge numbers of migrant workers and those born after the 1960s. So whether we can have a new system, new institutions to encourage them, so that to empower them uh, with long uh, lifelong learning or the opportunities for their, uh, the, the job or the social participation, volunteering, or something like that. If you look at the current policy, after the retirement age, if they want to take a new job, it's not a supportive policy mm -hmm. for them. So we need to change that to balance, to counteract the, the shrinking labor force. He says negative population growth will remain a long-term trend as the country ages. And this shift could bring China to reflect on its policy focus in growth mode. We need to shift from the, uh, the development model from because we have a shrinking labor force, but we have much higher uh, education background. How to play the role of the educational dividend for the further development and not just uh, focus on the labor force number to keep the economic growth. As for encouraging families to have more kids, Professor Du says incentives and support should cover not just the young or the elderly, but all family members. He said measures to manage salaries and reduce taxes can help young couples find the balance between developing their careers and raising children.